1992, racial tensions in Los Angeles erupted in violence. The infamous LA riots raged throughout the city, including Koreatown. However, the LAPD only protected the city's wealthiest neighborhoods, abandoning the residents of Koreatown to defend their businesses and property on their own. Since then, Koreatown has come a long way. The neighborhood has become a trendy, vibrant destination, bustling with urban life. Visitors come from all over the city for the unlimited Korean barbecue, karaoke, and lit nightlife. I've come to Koreatown to the Wee Spa. In the meantime, a wong wong ka cha ka cha. But amidst the hype, a voiceless yet increasingly visible minority reveal that not everyone benefited from this revitalization. You rarely see an Asian face on the streets or in sidewalk tents. But Korean homelessness does exist, as we found out through an LA Times article. For the past eight years, Reverend John Kim from St. James Episcopal Church in Koreatown has been providing shelter for Koreans without homes. When I started working, it was, there were a lot of Latino clients, um, very few Korean clients. Uh, now it's, our clientele is very heavily Korean, I'd say three quarters of the people who come are Korean. And I don't know why, maybe more than 75% of our senior citizens. Mm -hmm. When we first started this project, we were told that there was no data on Korean homelessness. Initially skeptical, we thought, surely someone must have done some sort of research. But as we began to dig through the statistics, we quickly came to realize how little information actually existed. The only concrete source we had was the priest, who has become the central figure working on this issue. Homelessness is heavily riddled with stigma. In Korean culture, where pride is so deeply ingrained, being homeless or even suffering through a difficult point in life can make one feel an overwhelming sense of shame. Despite the priest's support throughout the interview process, we still face difficulties. One man from the shelter strongly expressed his frustration and denial towards us. Yeah. 
나타내지 않는 천만 밑에 있는 아픈 부분들 네. 그런 부분들이 조금이라도 시정이 되면서 시정이 아니라 도움을 줘서 그분들이 마음 놓고 다가설 수 있는 그러한 곳 네. 그것은 꼭 필요하다고 생각해요 서로 의논하고 쉬어하고 하면 은 그게 창피가 아니라 정말 그 사람 삶에 있어서 더 새로운 뭔가가 될수 있는 그런 길이 있을 수 있는데 그냥 입을 담은다는 거죠. With so few people willing to share their stories, the broader picture of Korean homelessness was exceedingly difficult to capture. Without Kim and Tabong Ajoshi's courage, we wouldn't have had any understanding of who these people are or what these people have gone through. 아, 나는 와이프하고 딸 하나 있는데요. 연락이 끊어졌어요. 지금 여기 왔다는 건 가족들하고 관계가 단절된 것 같아요. 어렵게 되면 가족들, 친구들하고 단절돼요. 그리고 혼자 생각해요. 응. 한인 노숙자들은 찜질방에 자고 있어요. 아, 간적 있죠. 응. 찜질방이 아니고 사우나. 사, 아, 사우나. 네. 그러니까 잠만 자고. 아무래도 이제 24시간 영업을 하는 곳이고 그러다 보면 에브리데이 맨날 오시는 손님들도 있어요. 우리 일반적으로 생각할 때저 손님이 집이 없나? 또 자주 얼굴을 맨날 보니까 참 생각지도 못했던 나도 생각지 못했던 어떤 그런 부분들이 많이 나오더라고요, 얘기가. 왜 한인들은 그런 쉼터 같은 걸잘안 찾아? 근데요, 그 네. 내가 이 많이 있는 것 같아도 그 인포메이션이 없어요. 네. 응? 여기서 지금 이거 했는지 안 했는지도 모르는 사람이 더 많아요. 어느 중 어느 문제일 거예요. 말이 안 되면 겁이 나죠. 그렇죠. 좋은 사람들도 많겠지만 네. 마약이라든지 네. 그다음에 어떤 폭력 네. 그런 게 겁이 나요. 네. 문화적인 차이가 있잖아요. 네, 그렇죠. 그런 비슷한 생활 하시는 한인 분들도 많이 많습니다. 주로... 확실히는 모르는데 네. 꽤 돼요. 그럼 우리도 이 규모가 얼마큼 얼마 몰라 우리도 음. 얼마큼 한인들이 노숙자 조용히 서버를 하는 거죠. 조용히. 응? 네. 조용히. 네. 일단 더 연구가 필요한 영, 연구 연구 대상이 때문에. 필요한 거네요. 이게 짧은 기간 내안 돼요. 네, 맞아요. 네. 이게 이 사람들이 끊임없이 매일 신문을 뒤지고 아, 네. 전화를 해요. 네. 인터뷰도 하고. 네. 그동안 한 20여 명이 넘게 취직했어요. 그래서 네. 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 어제 8월 1일 을 이렇게 해서 술, 담배를 끊겠다 해서 어제 또 끊은 사람도 있어요. 어, 진짜요? 네. 나보다 더 어려운 사람들도 많아요. 네. 그렇잖아 네. 고맙죠. 네. 그, 그런 거 생각하면 기쁘죠. Yeah. Sort of the best thing that people could do, just like, you know, average community members who care, is is really to educate themselves. If you have education, you have the tool to kind of like as a roadmap. And yeah. then from there you decide, oh, I want to do advocacy, or I want to do more of this. Okay. You're going to meet this population or specific individuals where they're at. Right. And then you have to build that relationship, and it's a process. Mm -hmm. Developing the trust, and it really is about that human connection. And sometimes it takes months of going back, offering them water, not asking them for anything, just letting them know that you know they can talk to you, that you're here to like be a listening ear for them. And, and then over time, that helps people feel more comfortable with opening up. So, the Korean-speaking volunteers who are so valuable to us mm -hmm. uh, because it, as our as the population became more changed, at first we didn't have anybody here who spoke Korean. Nobody worked here who spoke Korean, and it was very difficult. Um, and then Father Kim actually started bringing people, uh, um, and they come with him now. Um, and um, and then a different three or four people come on Thursdays and help at the tables, passing out food and translating. Oftentimes, when we need something, somebody asks a question, and um, I think they would help out with outreach things as well if we needed that. There's still so much we need to learn to tackle the issue of homelessness especially how it intersects with Korean American culture. Yes, further research is needed, but more importantly, these people need the care and support from our Korean American community. With an open heart, we can start conversation on how to connect the existing resources to the people who truly need them. It's a person, but it's a person, but it's a person who sees the number of people. 
불쌍하다고 생각하는 사람이 조금 작지. 응? 원수자는 사람으로 안 보잖아. 근데 걔 사람이야. 한때는 걔도 넥타이 입고 회사 다니는 놈들이라고 나. 가정도 갖고. 일부러 노숙자된 놈 있으면 나보라 그래. 응? 걔네들 바보여? 걔네들도 얼마나 가슴이 아프겠어. 아주 눈물이 나야. 나쁜 놈 아니, 나쁜 놈이 노숙자가 아니고 살다 보니까 노숙자 된 거야. The pain and isolation is apparent, yet it would be solvable if we work to look past our fears and decide to see these homeless people as people too. 이분들을 무슨 노숙자라고 생각하면 안 돼요. 그냥 좀 잠시 어려운 그냥 우리 동포일 뿐이에요. 오늘 이번에 인터뷰하고 경계도 그래요. 이건 굉장히 내가 큰 것이 결정을 합니다. 원래는 얼마 자주 좀 상하겠어요. 이렇게 사는 것도 힘들어 죽겠는데 진짜 어려운 일을 한 거예요. 미안하게 생각하고 있고 음. 근데 어떻든 이 일을 통해서 또 이분들이 도움을 받고 음. 또 다른 어려운 사람들이 또 도움을 받는다면 뭐 이렇게 하는 여러분들이 너무 고맙죠 <웃음> 진짜 좋은 결과가 나왔으면 좋겠네요 음. Korean Americans were collectively abandoned in the 1992 riots but since then we have adapted into mainstream society and Koreatown is no longer the crime-ridden neighborhood to avoid Yet, there are some members of our community who are still abandoned. We spent three months interviewing different organizations and scheduling times to meet with the people at the shelter. What seemed impossible became possible when the people at the home share their painful and joyful stories. Every minute and hour we had with them drew us closer together like family. Every word and sentence that came out of their mouths, we wanted to tell them that we care. But we also want our community to care. So what do you say? How will you help our invisible neighbors to become visible once again? Thank you.